Hey, we're doing chapter 5, 1, mid-segments of triangles. And the topics are the triangle mid-segment theorem. And basically what the theorem states is, is that if we construct midpoints D and E on two sides of the triangle and connect them, creating line segment DE, then DE is going to be parallel to the other segment that we didn't construct any midpoints on. And not only is DE parallel to AB here, but DE is half the length of the length of AB. All right, so I made a video to illustrate that. And as you can see, when I dragged point C around, look, DE certainly looked like it was half the length of AB then. Okay. Um, let me go back a picture. One thing to note, um, very often I have students that confuse the notation here. Let me erase a little bit. That some students think that just because these marks are congruent, they think that DC would be congruent to EC. No, this is with one mark and this is with one mark. It's showing that D is the midpoint of AC and that these two segments here are congruent. And likewise, E is the midpoint on this side here for the midpoint of CB. But, and, and CE is congruent to BE. But this is a different notation than this notation. These two sides are not congruent. Okay, and as that video went around, there's a moment in that image as that C is dragged around where they were congruent, but what's important is is that we're showing, give me a moment, there, we're showing that this segment is congruent to that segment, meaning that D is a midpoint. Likewise, E is a midpoint on that side. Okay, next page. Okay, now, if we're given some lengths, then we can use this information to, you know, fill in all the, the missing values here. Look, if this is 18, 18 is double the length of this mid-segment over here. So this has to be 9. And, um, well, 15 is half the length of this whole length. So from here to here has to be 30. Some students find it easy to see that, okay, look, if this is a, mix, a midpoint here, and this is 15, well, then this part here is 15, and that segment there is 15, and together they add up to 30. Okay. And then if this is 32, then this missing length is 16. Okay. All right, now, um, minimal algebra here. This is half the length of 46, so one half of 46 is equal to x plus 2. My handwriting's awful, so let's go to the next page. See, I wrote all this in there. See, I wrote Fe is one half the length of this length here. Bam. All the information is shown. Look, I distributed the half to create the 23 and subtract 2 from both sides to get the x is 21. Okay. If x is 21, then Fe would then have to be 23, because you're adding 2. Okay. Um, well, if, if Gf is 8, well, then Vt has got to be 16. You don't know from this, from what information is given, what these missing links over here are or over here. You just know that whatever they are, this is, a, is congruent to this, and this is congruent to that. My next problem. All right, the setup for this one is going to be, um, well, half of x plus 27 is equal to... Um, x plus 17. Or some some people find it convenient to say that if we double the 
mid segment is equal to the other segment. There we go. Fine. Anyway, I wrote out the algebra here. So ji is uh, x plus 17, and then half of su, half of the value for su, and there's the math. I, let's see, what did I do here? I went from this step to this step. I multiplied both sides by 2. Because then I wouldn't have to deal with this fraction have to, and have to worry about distributing that one half. So, and you know, so I doubled the half, so there's x plus 27. And then from this step to this step, I subtracted the 34, and then I added, uh, then I uh, subtracted an x. Okay, and let's see, we're going to solve for a length after we, saw, uh, after we find the value of x. Okay, so x minus 1 is going to be equal to 1 half x plus 7. I'm going to double everything so I can, don't have to deal with that 1 half. So 2x minus 2 is equal to x plus 7. And then we'll subtract x from each side, add 2 to each side, and then they wanted to know the length after we found the value of x. Well, it's ig is what we're looking for. So that's going to be x plus 7, where x is equal to 9. So you have 9 plus 7. So ig is 16. And, well, I typed all that, but let's see. Oh, that's it. Thanks for watching.